Hello and welcome back to the Exposome Stories. We are all discussing skin aging and the exposome that makes an impact on skin aging. Exposome is basically nothing but a bunch of factors in the environment that make an impact on skin aging process. Uh, we were discussing about the sun as an important factor in skin aging and we specifically discussed special foods that can help us blunt the impact of sun's damage on our skin. Nutrition by itself is listed as an independent factor in the skin aging exposome. It's not just about the stuff that we eat, it's also about how it is cooked and it's also about when we consume this food that makes an impact to the skin aging process. To understand how nutrition makes an impact on aging, we have to first learn a concept called age. Fittingly, these stand for advanced glycation end products. Now, these are small molecules which have a harmful effect on the skin, can cause pigmentation, can cause sagging, wrinkling, fine lines, uh, can cause a whole host of skin aging features and these can be naturally produced in the body, what we call as endogenous AGE production. They can be produced naturally as a part of the physiological aging process, usually start somewhere around mid-30s and then can progress, but they can also be accelerated by increased exposure to UV light as well. In addition, these advanced glycation end products, AGEs, can also be produced when you have high sugar in your diet. The high sugar in the diet increases the sugar in the bloodstream, which then binds to certain molecules like proteins, uh, fats, parts of the DNA, and then creates these newer harmful compounds called AGEs. There are certain specific receptors for these AGEs. Uh, receptor for AGE called RAGES which then interact with these AGEs to create all the harmful effects we just discussed like pigmentation, uh, collagen breakdown, inability to regenerate collagen from naturally available enzymes and resources and sagging, particularly wrinkling. All of these can be created by the interaction between the AGEs and the receptors, the RAGES, to create all the negative effects downstream that we just spoke about. Now another important place where these AGEs come into our system is diet. Depending upon the cooking, typically grilling, um, deep frying, sautéing, uh, basically cooking at high temperatures for prolonged periods of time creates AGEs, what we call as exogenous AGEs that can then come into your body through your diet and again bind to these same receptors and cause all the aging factors that we just discussed about. So the specific take home from this is that if you are looking at putting in nutrients from your diet in a better way into your body, you should consider uh, cooking methods like uh, steaming, uh, boiling, uh, stewing and so on as compared to foods that are barbecued, toasted, deep fried, uh, skewered, grilled and so on. Not only does it allow the nutrients to be better absorbed from your diet, the nutrients to be preserved in the first place during the process of cooking, but it also reduces the amount of these advanced glycation end products that you're putting into the body. Advanced glycation end products don't just have an aging uh, component as a negative factor, they can create a negative impact on multiple other organ systems including the lungs and the heart and so on. So it's better to go for these healthier uh, cooking methods in general, not just for the skin but for the entire body. Now specifically, what we learned about the sugar is that the higher the sugar, the higher the amount of AG is circulating in your body. So overall for anti-aging, if you can cut back or cut down on the sugar as much as you can, it will definitely give you a benefit in keeping your skin youthful and healthy. If you are looking at specific data-backed suggestions for what diets you should have to reduce the speed of aging, uh, olives, legumes like peas and vegetables top the list. And if you're looking at specific agents that have been associated with or studied to cause advanced aging, you should think about cutting out meat or cutting down on meat, uh, butter specifically and dairy in general. The third important factor is the time at which you have a diet. Overall studies have shown that not skipping breakfast helps keep the insulin resistance in check. And insulin resistance is something that can have widespread negative impacts, right from exaggerating or accelerating the speed of hair loss to causing sarcopenia with result in sagging to creating increased acne as well as facial hair growth. There can be a whole lot of factors that can come in from insulin resistance and one of the key ways in which to work on insulin resistance is to definitely have your breakfast on time. Again, having an early dinner, preferably around 6, 6.30 p.m. and not having a lot of processed sugars, processed carbs or fats after that period of time definitely helps in bringing the insulin resistance under control. So it's not just about what you eat, of course you have a factor there, it's also about how you cook it, it's also about when you have it. When you look at all these factors as a holistic unit, then you're able to better take care of your diet from the process of preventing or slowing down skin aging 
and this naturally reflects on other body systems as well other organ systems as well such as a younger heart a more agile brain can also benefit from a diet like this talking about nutrition it's important that we don't miss out talking about dietary habits like alcohol uh, there was a study that was recently done that compared identical twins and they found that the twin that consumed lesser alcohol looked younger by far. So it's very important to understand that nutrition is a holistic component and sometimes when we talk about nutrition usually the barrier is that it takes a lot of time. I have this work going on, I have, uh, I have had this project that I need to first finish before I can focus on nutrition. Um, I have something else that's coming up so I need to focus on that first. So usually there are a lot of excuses about when we want to start a diet. We like definite numbers like the first new year or we like specific from birthday or we like specific events around which we want to start working on our diet. Um, I just want to share a small story with you here. Uh, once upon a time there was a village chieftain he had he was in charge of a particularly problematic village there were a lot of problems going on so he was always stressed out about putting out one fire then there was another problem that needed to be put out so he was always running between his problems uh, in the middle of all this he could not take care of himself so his uh, he couldn't sleep on time he could not have his diet on time or he could not have his food on time so basically he was getting sicker and sicker when running and taking care of all of these other problems so one day his wife took him to the nearby village monk and said he see he's not able to take care of himself at all and uh, he doesn't give importance to himself and the chieftain said well i do have problems there are a lot of people that always want my help i have to look at multiple things so i i, I always feel like if i can finish this then i'll be a little bit free and then take care of myself uh, the monk took the village chieftain across to a nearby stream and said come let's cross this river over to the forest on the other side and i want to talk to you about something more and as they proceeded to cross, the chieftain went on a few steps into the water while the monk was standing at the shore. So he turned back and said, why aren't you coming? You wanted to go across to the other side, uh, to the forest there. The monk said, just wait. I'll wait for the waters to finish flowing and then I will come with you. So the chieftain said, but the waters will keep flowing. We just have to go past. And so the monk tells the chieftain like this, like how it is not practical for us to wait for the waters to stop flowing to cross the stream. There will always be problems, there will always be projects, there will always be urgencies and priorities in life. But you still have to find time to look after yourself so that you can cross the stream better, so that you can navigate across the, the hardships of life better. So like that, even though there are so many things that are going on all around us, there will always be something coming up that, that requires or demands our urgent attention. But I think putting nutrition at the top of your priority list will actually help give you a healthier body and a healthier mind to help you take on the, uh, the challenges and hardships of life. I'll meet you with another important part of the skin aging exposome, pollution. Talk to you soon.